president. A second video. Let's bring in our think tank, figure out what this means. Wow. Joining us tonight, Judge Tiffany Porter, Municipal Court Judge, Criminal Defense Attorney. Also with us, Krista Ramey, Trial Attorney, and Nima Romani, former federal prosecutor. Great to have everyone here. Um, judge, a second video. She said there's a second video of the incident. Uh, I mean, at this point, uh, even with it being a second video, you still have to show that this citizen's arrest was reasonable. And I know we talk about, you talked about that the Georgia law is kind of muddy. It's not muddy. It says that uh, under, with a citizen's arrest, that you can do it under reasonable, with reasonable force, under the circumstances, maybe used to restrain the individual arrested. And that was not reasonable to shoot him uh, three, maybe four times, you know, uh, they're going to have a hard time showing that this was reasonable in any any shape or fashion, even with a second video. They could have restrained him Nima. by other means. Nima, what, what could this second video possibly show us that we don't see in the first video? And, and according to the defense, it appears to be a, a complete game changer. Completely different narrative. Well, Vinny, don't forget, Greg and Travis, they're the ones who released the video, right? Their friends took the video. They thought by releasing the video two months later, it would actually reduce tensions down there in Georgia. Little did they know that, you know, after the video was released and it went viral, that that would lead to their arrest. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's additional evidence that the defense has, because they're the ones that had this video. Their friend took it. They're the ones that leaked it, hoping it would help, and it turned out that it hurt. So, Krista, yeah, it could, could this could this case change 180 degrees by some second video that is out there? Unless they had someone trained on the front of the car and it showed a completely different set of facts than what we just saw, I cannot imagine a situation that where a second video could be present that would show anything different than what we all see. You know, don't believe your lion eyes. Do, do we think, Anima, you know, and, and you're a former federal prosecutor, uh, and, and federal prosecutors, different estate prosecutors, you guys have a confession, a videotape, an audio tape, and, and four people who have flipped to testify against the person on trial. I understand that. But still, is it possible, <laughs> is it fathomable that at this trial... After all the evidence is in, things will be less clear than they are now? No, absolutely, Vinny. You nailed it. I mean, look, as federal prosecutors, we want a bulletproof case. And I know what the video shows, and I know what I believe that these two are guilty of murder. But you're talking about southeast Georgia, small county there. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if the jury there buys this self-defense argument. You know, we talked about it in the opening, right? open carry laws, citizen's arrest, former cop, former DA investigator, his son, the right to use lethal force in self-defense. These are laws on the books in Georgia. So, yeah, I mean, this is going to be a tough case for the state prosecutors, no doubt. You know, um, now, to jump one in of there, the other things, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, no, um, to, to tack on to Nima's point, I mean, this is South Georgia. And um, having spent a lot of time in the South, um, I certainly understand that. But um, you, you don't get to use lethal force when you're the one that starts the fight. You don't get to point a gun at someone and someone defend themselves, and then you get off scot-free. I understand that there are times, and we all know them, because we've seen these ha this happen, Trayvon Martin, um, where you, you believe that a video is going to show something, and it's going to write it all, and then it doesn't. And so anything can happen. But I, I think this is going to be a little bit tougher for a self-defense claim. I want to talk about another video. And, and, and there's been uh, a bunch of videos now released where we, we see someone who we believe is Ahmad going back time and time again over the course of months to this construction site. And, and, and we keep hearing um, the 911 calls and the concern of neighbors that someone is breaking into this construction site. Well, I've got a new video for you, and, and I want to tell you, uh, let me set it up first. November 17th, okay, 2019, November 17th, 2019, 9.30 at night, another video of someone who looks like Ahmad 
Let's take a look at what he does in this video at the construction site. As we take a look at it, he's kind of walking, walking, and he's off and running, back running. Nobody's chasing him. Nobody's looking for him. He's running because he's running. And the other thing that the homeowner said, Judge, was that they're trying to figure this all out as well. And they said, you know what? In, in part of the house there, there's a couple of a, a, a spouse that have water. And th they're wondering if perhaps in the middle of his run, he's stopping there for a drink. For a drink, Judge. Is that possible? I mean, anything is possible. First, you have to prove that that's him, right? We have to get that, that clear. Uh, we don't know for sure that that's him. And, I mean, what are they alleging that he's feeling or could be doing there? I mean, it does not really show anything. Wait, the, the, uh, homeowner, the homeowner thinks he might be getting a drink in the middle of his jog. You know, he lives two miles away. The construction site's about two miles from his house. So he stops after, after running for two miles, stops, walks around the house, gets a drink from one of the two, two faucets that they have there, and then continues running. I mean, right. so it doesn't sound like a burglary to me. Right, well, the, I agree. the point is, is that the What's homeowner. The there, there, there isn't any. The homeowner is not saying there's a problem. The defense may say it at trial, though. Nima, yeah, Vinny. Um, is, Vinny. is this, is this going to be a trial within a trial about why is Ahmad inside the, the construction site? Absolutely, Vinny. The defense is trying to dirty him up. They've already leaked his you know, criminal record that has nothing to do with this murder. Um, the homeowner himself, he didn't care. He sees someone in his house on video. Those motion uh, detector cameras, they catch it. This is February 11th. You know, he doesn't even call the police. He doesn't care. Greg and Travis, these sort of vigilante renegades, they do care. They're trying to police their neighborhood, even though the homeowner doesn't. Again, the defense is going to do everything they can to try to dirty Ahmad up, um, but it's not much they can do. I mean, the guy is jogging while black. Let's just be honest. Yeah, and, and on November 17th of 2019, he's jogging again after stopping at the home site. No one is there chasing him. No one is there, hey, what are you doing? No, he just stops and then continues jogging. All right, we've got a lot more to talk about. When we return, Molly Tibbetts, she went missing in 2018. Someone's been arrested for her murder. That trial is coming up. We've got a preview 